Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are all doing well. You guys sent me messages saying that Dollar Tree had like a new makeup line out and you guys wanted me to share my thoughts. So that's what we're going to do today. That's why I don't have anything on my lips or like my eyelids. So we're going to test the makeup products out. I hope you guys enjoy. Give this video a like if you guys would like me to kind of do more videos like this. And I also want to say sorry about the background, but I am kind of like moving stuff around in my room. So if it looks a little bit crazy, that is why. Um, there's a lot of like stuff that I'm doing um, kind of behind the scenes to like you know, make my room a little bit more organized and nicer and I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff and blah blah blah. So just wanted to say that. Give it a like if you want me to do more videos like this where I kind of test the items out while I'm hauling them. And um, in case you've missed my recent videos, I did a thrift store summer try on haul. So I'll link that up above in case you missed it. Um, I tried on a bunch of like cute stuff I was able to find at the thrift store. You don't want to miss it, so I'll link it above and I'll link it down below as well. I also um, did a Big Lots haul in case you missed that video. I'll include a card up above and I will also link it down below. Um, you guys ask me all the time the type of foundation that I use. It's from Big Lots, so you guys don't want to miss that video and the stuff I'm finding. Um, so I'll be sure to include playlists. Um, if you guys love Dollar Tree and you guys are here for Dollar Tree, I'll be sure to include a entire Dollar Tree playlist up above so you can check it out as well as down below. I hope you guys enjoy all of the videos and if you have any ideas or suggestions on what videos I should be putting out for you guys, let me know in the comments. I know you guys really like all the beauty videos. Somehow my channel's kind of becoming a dollar store beauty channel which is a little strange but you guys like watching it so that's what I'm here for. I am not a beauty guru. I don't really know how to do makeup you guys. I just kind of go with the flow um, and I'm just so glad you guys enjoy it and that's why I'm here sharing it with you guys. So without further ado let's jump right into the Dollar Tree haul. You guys told me all about the new makeup products at Dollar Tree so I of course was super intrigued and wanted to try this out for you guys so that you guys know if it's worth the money, if you guys should go and pick it up and stuff, or if you should pass and save the money. So I do want to take pictures of this with the packaging included. So I might have to do that really quick before we start, but I do have a bunch of like makeup products from that line. And it's by the Color Workshop, and it's the Spring On range at Dollar Tree. I am super excited about it. I love makeup, so I've got all sorts of things here for you guys. So don't you guys worry. Um, we're going to be swatching this. This should probably be a whole video on its own. And then I'll show you guys the other stuff I found in a separate video. So I'm going to haul all of this stuff with you guys in just a moment. So look at all the beauty stuff. Let's go ahead and start out with the lip glosses. And I was able to get four of the lip glosses. They don't necessarily have names on them, you guys. So I don't know how we're going to do this. But this one is super beautiful. It is a high shine lip gloss and it does have a ton of shimmer on it so we're gonna go ahead and open these up and see what they're all about um, I think the packaging like is really cute you guys I think they're doing a really good job they're definitely stepping it up so this is the first lip gloss I normally don't wear lip gloss you guys I used to wear it a ton more and this looks like it's gonna be a clear lip gloss with like shimmer. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up or not. The only thing about lip gloss that I don't like is that it's sticky. My hair sticks to my lips. Like I really can't stand that. So I'm going to see how sticky these are. We're going to try them together. But let me show you kind of the swatches. So that one, as you can see, is extremely sheer, clear. You can hardly see it. This is a different one. It's more of like a nudish 
pink color but it does have some shimmer so far it's like very sheer you guys very sheer lip gloss i don't know that i would recommend purchasing it i like to put it over top of lip gloss or lipstick so i'm gonna try and do that for you guys as well so that you can see if it's like worth the money or not so let me try that out. I'm going to try it out with Natural Shine. You can find this at Dollar Tree, this lipstick here. So I'm going to apply that on my lips since I don't have anything on them. And then um, we're going to try that over the top. So as you can see, this color right here is super nude. I don't really wear this color anymore. But I want to see what the lip gloss looks or feels like how it looks over the top of that lipstick it's not so sticky when it's applied over the top of a lipstick so I'm really impressed about it so far so good I think they're better off when you use them over the top of a lipstick. I don't know that I would necessarily use a lip gloss on its own, but I mean, you do whatever you gotta do, girl. I'm gonna take this off. I hope that kind of gave you an idea of what it would look like. So I have two more of those lip glosses. I wanna see if these have any pigmentation on their own, because that's what I'm really curious about, because literally, any clear lip gloss can do that. So if you already have a lip gloss, I don't know that I would recommend you go out and buy this. Let me see here. This has a little more pigment. Let me try to put this on my lips so you guys can see it. It definitely has that like lip glossy taste to it. Like, I don't know has a really I don't know it's kind of an odd smell but as you can see it's pretty it's got a tiny tiny hint of color you could hardly see it you guys this is the darkest one they had at my Dollar Tree so let me try that and see if that does anything for us because so far they're all really sheer. They're pretty, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not a big fan of lip gloss. I really am not. I don't like how it feels. <laughs> okay, let's. this is the darkest color. I wish they had names, you guys, but they don't. You can kind of see this one, the like color of it, a little bit more. It's very sheer, you guys. But it kind of matches my shirt. How funny is that? It's like a purpley color. I thought it would be more nude. But it does have pigment, you guys. Let me do a swatch of this one. That's probably the most pigmented one. But as you can see, you can kind of see the other shades. They're very sheer lip glosses. It's not a, a liquid lipstick. It's a lip, definitely a lip gloss. And they're not as sticky as I've, I've tried some really sticky ones you guys they're quite nice uh, honestly for a dollar cannot beat that okay let me try the other ones the moisturizing lipsticks from Dollar Tree from the same collection and you guys are always so good about being the judges on this so leave your comments down below and tell me what you've thought of the lip glosses yourself how they how they looked if they look different on my lips Please let us know in the comments so that we can kind of all have like a little discussion. Let me know what you guys think. So these are the four that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And that is their new range that they have out currently. Um, you might be able to snatch some of these items out. They still had a bunch. Okay. And these come from the brand Marquins Beauty Collections. And I'm pretty sure... They sell this brand at Walmart. I'm almost positive, and they have some really beautiful Christmas sets around Christmas time. Next up, we have the moisturizing lipsticks from the Color Workshop. So I'm super interested to see how these perform, if they're pigmented, and I'm sure you guys are as excited as I am. 
Okay, let's start with this one right here. I wish they had names, you guys, but they don't. Such a bummer they don't have names, but hey, it's the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm going to call this like a red lipstick. They only had a few shades, you guys. They didn't have a... It was nice, but let's see, you guys. Ooh, okay. Now I'm, like, inspecting my lipsticks ever since, like, everything happened with Jaclyn Hill, you guys. This does have, like, sweat marks and, like, some dots, like, oxygen bubbles. What do you guys think of that whole scandal? I'm curious to know. But it definitely doesn't have, like, fibers or, like, hair or anything. So, look at that pigmentation. I will say... It's kind of cheapy, like this thing right here, but hey, look at this pigment. Let me try this on for you guys. It's definitely hard to apply. This is super bright, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of this pigment. What you th How do you think this looks? Does it look terrible? Does it look horrible? It feels really nice on the lips. The only thing I'm concerned about is that it's like sliding all over the place. Oh, you guys, but it feels really nice. It does not feel dry. Um, I definitely need to whiten my teeth because <laughs> this is one of those colors that will bring out kind of the yellowness in your teeth. But other than that, you guys, that is gorgeous. I do like this pattern on the outside of the packaging. I think that's absolutely stunning. And Dollar Tree, if you continue to do this, you already have a loyal shopper, but I will continue to support you, Dollar Tree, because that is amazing. I like how it feels on the lips. Let me know in the comments what you think, you guys. Let's try some other ones now. Probably should have started with the lighter ones. But hey. Okay, let's do a nude color because, look, it kind of stained my lips a little bit. This looks like it's going to be a nudish color. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this, you guys, but when am I not? Because <laughs> it's like a dollar. The packaging is priceless. Here you go. You've got your Jaclyn Hill lipstick for a dollar. It does have, like, little like holes you guys know what they're you know they're showing with the microscope and stuff it does i can see the little dots on this lipstick but i don't see any like fibers or anything that is alarming but ever since the whole scandal i have been inspecting my lipsticks oh this is, might be a little too nude I don't know if this is one of my favorites. I think if you're fair skin, you guys, this might be a really nice nude lip color for you. I don't think I like this one. The red one kind of stained my lips, so I feel like all these other colors are gonna look funny now that my lips are stained. But this is really beautiful if you are fair skin. Some people still like to wear these kind of like nudish lipsticks. Me, not so much. So, I'm going to remove this. Oh my god, my lips are going to be exhausted by the end of this. Coke. Not vanilla today, but Coke is just as good. Who else loves Coke? What's your favorite soda? Let me know in the comments. And if you've made it this far, leave a soda emoji so that I know you're still watching. I have this light pink color. So we're going to test this one next. I wish they had names, you guys, but they don't. And I really don't know what to tell you. So here we go. Here's the pink one. I will say the shape to this is a little bit weird. Let me do a swatch. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I think I just broke this one. I literally just broke this one. I mean, I will still, I will still use it. I actually really like this pink one. It definitely feels extremely moisturizing, you guys. I'm really happy with this pink one. 
the red one was a little much and this this one was a little like a little weird on my on my skin tone I don't know I feel like it was a little too nude but if you are fair skin I think that would look gorgeous I do like this pink one so if you're kind of like olive skin tone or similar to me you might really like this pink one um, let me know in the comments what your favorite lipstick is so far the last one is like a darker pink looks like this color workshop that is so cute you guys I'm glad that they're collaborating with like Dollar Tree that is so smart so here's this color and I'm gonna do a swatch for you here on the back of my hand that's the color there it's a little bit darker than this light pink clearly I really like how they feel on the lips they definitely feel like a lip balm and I did a whole big lots haul talking about how I've been obsessed with lipsticks that are kind of like lip balm inspired so these are right up my alley maybe the red would be nice with a red top or something um, I would pass on the nude surprisingly enough just because I don't know I just didn't really like it so I would try these colors if you're kind of in my range these three lip balms here they feel nice and moisturizing the only thing I didn't like about the red one was that it kind of like stained my lips but other than that I, it probably has the most pigment out of all of them so I wanted to come on here and share that with you guys I think they're worth it this would be really pretty for fair skin not so much for me unless you thought that looked good I didn't like how it looked um, and then I think my favorite ones are probably the pink ones so if you're on a super tight budget these would be my like my picks if you know what I mean the pink shades for as far as lip glosses go I feel like lip gloss is such a hard one for me you guys I don't think you should pick up the lip glosses like if you already have a clear lip gloss I don't think there's much you're missing out on this you know like if you already have a lip gloss um, I think it's pretty like they have like nudish lip glosses so if you have like a nude lipstick and you want to add like shine to it like it'll work you guys I like them I don't think they're terrible I don't think they're super sticky or like I, I really didn't have like a problem with them the only thing is, is like, I didn't really see a lot of pigment. This one was the one with the highest pigmentation. It kind of looks like my shirt. Um, I would probably pass on this one. It's just literally, you guys, like a clear lip gloss. Um, and these are nice if you have like nudish lipsticks and you want to add a little bit of shine, then I would recommend them. But if you already have a lip gloss, if you already have nude lip glosses, it's definitely not something you need to get. Um, but I think you should try these, these like pinky shade ones. They are moisturizing. You don't get a ton of product. I feel like with some of my lipsticks, even like LA Colors, I feel like you get more product. If you can see the difference. So you don't get, you don't get a ton of product but I still think they're really pretty you guys so those are my thoughts and I like the packaging very cute and clever now let's move on to some blushes so actually let's do some eyeshadows first but I do have blushes and I do have eyeshadows I'm excited to try the eyeshadows because they look like they're going to be pretty pigmented so I got two brownish shades they had purple and pink but I really don't use colorful eyeshadows but they did have a whole selection you guys check out my Instagram over at sparkle on forever I took a picture of their display and um, that way you can kind of see the other colors um, that they offer I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put this all over my lid and you guys are gonna tell me if you can tell a difference it's really hard to see on the viewfinder what the heck I'm doing and I've said this a million times before I am my own camera woman 
and my editor and everything so sometimes things go wrong you guys like my thing is out of focus and I get super annoyed about that because I definitely want to invest in a camera that will like auto focus and I want it to be good quality because I have one but it gets kind of grainy and I feel like you can't even see what I'm doing. I really like this eyeshadow. That's beautiful. I'm going to kind of try to blend it out. So I used this one here all over. Goodness gracious, that's a beautiful eyeshadow. And the other one I picked up is a lighter shade. So I'll kind of try to blend the eyeshadow out with this color. One thing I do want to mention is I love that it has like white packaging, like outer packaging. Like I just feel like white packaging is so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's try to blend this thing out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the eyeshadow. Do you like it? Do you think it is blotchy? Do you think it doesn't look good? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have already tried these and tested them out, let us know how your experience was and what you thought of the products. So far, I would recommend this eyeshadow. I like them both. They're kind of like a shimmery... It is so pretty, you guys. Let me try to swatch it this way. So that is the eyeshadow here. It is a, like a shimmery, so the pigment is there. It is not a matte eyeshadow. And this is the other one. So they're both like satin finish. Here's this one. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. For a dollar. Next, I want to test out some of their blushes that they offer. I picked up three, um, so I'll do some swatches on them. These you can also use as eyeshadows. You can do whatever you want when it comes to makeup. This is so much bigger than the little eyeshadows that they sell, so I think this is a better deal and I didn't pick up the eyeshadow because this is a very similar color and you get a lot more and you can use it as a blush. Let's go ahead and do some swatches. This is like a hot pink but orangey almost. I feel like it has like orange undertones. This is like a light lavender shade. Let's test it out. That's what this looks like. A little package. I think it is so cute. Okay, let's get our handy dandy brush. Oh wow, that's pigmented, you guys. Okay, that is pigmented. That is crazy. For a dollar. I'm just going over it. Usually I'll do this with like a powder brush. Sometimes if it's too much, I will use some powder. And I will go over the top of that to kind of like make it less crazy if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> holy moly. I was not expecting it to be that intense. These are definitely worth picking up. These blushes, they are pigmented. Hallelujah. And you can use these as, like I said, eyeshadow. I'll swatch this other one. So the one I used is like this beautiful color, you guys. This is such a gorgeous color. It reminds me of a Milani blush that I used to always use. I might have to go back and get another one of those for backup. Next, we'll swatch this one, which is super intense. You probably don't. This is probably going to last you a lifetime because you'll need the smallest amount. Hello, brightness. Oh my god, this is like a flamingo color. Holy smokes. I will say the top of it had a really weird consistency to it. Whereas the other one was super smooth. Okay. And then the last one is the super light. 
color. Here we go. This is super light, you guys. This is probably not going to work out for me. Do you see that color right here? That's the blush. But if you are super fair skin, that might be a really good choice. Okay, you guys. So those are the makeup products that I picked up and that you guys wanted me to test on camera for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the products, how you think they performed. Do I look like a crazy mess? Do I look decent? Let me know in the comments. Um, I will have to say I really enjoyed the blushes. The eyeshadows, I was really impressed with how like easily they kind of all blended and stuff. I would highly recommend this color right here for eyeshadow. I wish I could tell you the name of it, but it's like the prettiest bronzy shade. Um, and I would recommend the pink moisturizing lipsticks, the ones that come in the pink containers. And I would also recommend the blushes. Highly pigmented, as you saw. Very pretty. They're only a dollar. Overall, not too bad. The only thing I would say you could pass up would be the lip glosses. And, um, you know, some of the shades I just don't think are necessary for everyone to have. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys like spending some time with me trying on some of these Dollar Tree makeup products. If you like these types of videos, please give it a like. It really helps my channel out a lot. It lets me know as to what you guys are interested in watching. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you saw something that you liked. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Dollar Tree makeup or Dollar Tree hauls that I will be doing. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so, so much for all of your love and support. You guys continue to bless me and I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.